Last year, I was lucky enough to attend the Gravity Falls panel at New York Comic Con. There, show creator Alex Hirsch and company announced a special edition of Journal 3. The original Journal 3 was an adaptation of the book prominently featured in the show, and kept the spirit and charm of the original series while also adding in a lot of extra lore to the series canon. If you're into Gravity Falls, I highly recommend you get yourself a copy, especially now when they only go for about 12 bucks. But this new special edition of the book was to be more accurate to the show, and feature a monocle, a more detailed bookmark, and special codes that you would need a blacklight to uncover. Only 10,000 copies of this book were made, and I actually managed to get myself a copy, number 6,932 to be exact. But is this version of the book worth seeking out, especially when the original book is so cheap now? Well, let's dive into this special edition and unravel this mystery. So this book makes a really great first impression. It's covered in a cardboard box within a paper wrapper to keep it safe and to tell you that you're in for something special. Opening the book wasn't much of a hassle and the cardboard can also be used to safely store the book when you aren't using it. The book itself is roughly twice as big as the original, its cover is made out of a rougher material, and the golden highlights on the book are glossier and feel more defined than the originals. The special edition also uses a kind of paper that is much more thick, and the outer sides of each page are a bit torn to give it more of a worn out and used kind of feeling. The monocle and the improved bookmark are also very cool inclusions to the book. Sometimes they get wrapped up in each other, but it isn't too much of a problem to take them apart. The monocle is made out of plastic, and I didn't use it very much, but I like the new bookmark. The end of it has tassels running out of a small gold cup, and it's much more high quality than the simple golden string that the original book had. When you open the book, you'll see that it it looks nearly identical to the original in regards to layout, the only difference being that Alex Hirsch's introduction takes up the very first page instead of presiding in the dust cover. It also has a different message written on it and includes his signature, which adds to the value of the book. You'll even see that you can lift up his photograph to see a hidden message. All of the photographs that were in the original journal now can be lifted up to uncover more information. There are even new objects that were added, like Mabel's infamous letter from the first episode of the show. Do you like me? Yes. Definitely. Absolutely. I rigged it. This new feature was at its best when applied to the secret message. This was by far the biggest secret in the original book, and it contained one of the most important pieces of new information. However, in the special edition, you can lift the paper up and see the message completely decoded by Dipper. Now I no longer have to go online to see what the message says, I mean start to decode the message from scratch again. I swear guys, I am a true Gravity Falls fan. But the biggest draw to the special edition are the new secret messages that you need a blacklight to view. Some of these can be very interesting, giving new bits of new information about certain subjects and even throwing in some good humor. Images that feature ghosts or various other bizarre creatures are now highlighted. All they do is glow in the dark, but they look really awesome, so I don't mind them. Some pages that were completely blank in the original book are now covered in new info, and those are probably the coolest in the entire special edition. However, as neat as the blacklight is, I feel like the book could have done a bit more with it. About 97 of the 288 pages feature something written in blacklight, which is only 33% or one third of the entire book. The book does give good in-universe reasons as to why some of the pages don't have invisible ink, such as Dipper not being able to correctly make it or Seuss drinking what remained of the author's old supply. But it was still let down that so few of the pages have something new to them. That's not counting pages that only have splatters of blacklight ink on them. I get that they are there to make the book feel more real, but it's just annoying flashing my blacklight on a page and then seeing that nothing is on it. One thing that may be a deal breaker to some fans are the contents of the hidden messages themselves. Most of them just add a comedic twist to the subject, and there aren't a ton of hidden codes and game-changing new info like the kind you would find in the original Journal 3. Like I've said before, the comedy and characters of Gravity Falls are what draw me in, not the mystery. So I was fine with the approach that this special edition took. The process of using the blacklight is also a hassle. You have to be in a completely dark room for the secret messages to show up, and also shine the blacklight on the page for a long period of time in order to even get the messages to completely show up. This resulted in me spending long periods of time sitting in the closet with a blacklight. Now I'm used to being in the closet, since that's where I record the audio for all my videos, but it is far too small to fit a chair inside so it was a fairly uncomfortable experience. There's also the obvious problem that you need to buy a blacklight in order to see all of the messages in the book. I think that it's worth mentioning that the one I ended up getting is supposed to be used to find dog pee stains. 
You know what else is a dog pee stain? The fact that what I paid for the book was still $60 less than the suggested price. I thank Amazon for decreasing the price so much, but I still feel like I overpaid for it. I get that these probably cost a lot of money to produce and understand that they are very limited, but I don't feel like it was worth it paying as much as I did for this book. If it was $40 to $60, I would recommend it, but for the amount of content that you are getting, I don't feel like it's worth getting this book at its current price, especially now that it is completely sold out. Currently, people are selling this for at least $200 a pop on eBay, and it's just gonna get worse over time. I wouldn't be surprised if people end up paying $20 just for the paper and the string that the book was originally wrapped in. To be completely honest, I'm glad that I own this book, and I'm glad that Disney even let this book happen. All of the extra features that were added, like the fold-out papers, the higher quality cover, and some of the secret messages were awesome. But there isn't enough content or revelations here to warrant the huge price tag it goes for. If you already own the original Journal 3, don't go after this, as it's not worth what people will ask for it. But if you're a super fan that needs to get your hands on it, patiently wait a few years until it goes down in value, or beg a friend to have their copy if they die before you. That may sound a bit dark, but it's only as dark as the room you'll spend hours in after you snatch that book from the hands of your deceased pal with a smile on your face as you scroll through the journal, staring at the codes and secrets that the person you once considered to be a friend kept from you for ages! I give the Gravity Falls Journal 3 Special Edition a 6.5 out of 10. Now, if you excuse me, I need to sell this official Gravity Falls string on eBay for $50. Order now and I'll ship it in the official Amazon box the book was originally sent to me in. Don't delay, call today. And that about ends this video. I know that it was a little bit different from what I normally do, but don't worry, I have a more regular review coming out later this week. Until then, follow me on Twitter at It's Nintendo and join my Discord server for more video updates and other fun stuff.